America sold the access to the minds of the people to vested interest groups, private corporations, the military, the CIA, and the FBI so that we could be investigated in a way where we would accept it, infiltrated in a way where we would accept it. It's well known that around 12,000 years ago, the ancestors of today's American Indians entered the New World. The Mongoloids moved swiftly, colonizing North and South America in just a few thousand years. That's precisely the time frame when scientists believe the American Aborigines begin to disappear. Could the Mongoloids have replaced the Aborigines? Hold on, when it comes to America, I'm looking at what you have done to the people here. They always wanna have us look at some boogeyman out there. You the boogeyman! Could the Mongoloids have replaced the Aborigines? But if this is what happened, where are their descendants? Why are there none of these American Aborigines in North and South America today? It seems that some tribes of American Aborigines may have escaped, finding sanctuary. So what became of them? Where are their descendants? The paternal lineages Q, R1, and C, P39 arose in Siberia and Central Asia and made their way east toward the far borders of the continent. Nearly all of the peoples of pre-contact North and South America descend from these same few haplogroups. Genetic studies have shown that up to 95% of native North, Central, and South Americans share a lineage that first separated from other East Asian populations while still in southern Siberia or Lake Baikal approximately 36,000 years ago, give or take 1,500 years. Verrazano and his crew reached the area of Cape Fear on March 21st, and after a short stay, continued northward. And there it was, what Verrazano had come for. In a letter to Francis I, Verrazano wrote, We found there an isthmus one mile wide and about 200 miles long, in which we could see the eastern sea from the ship, halfway between west and north. This is doubtless the one which goes around the tip of India, China, and Cathay. We sailed along this isthmus, hoping all the time to find some straight or real promontory where the land might end to the north, and we could reach those blessed shores of Cathay. But this was pure wishful thinking. Verrazano and his crew were actually off the coast of North Carolina's Outer Banks. What he saw was not an eastern sea, but what we call today Pamlico Sound. Interesting theories on how Asia could be reached through or around North America had just begun. Malta boy has no relation to current populations of East Asians. He is more related to the peoples who eventually migrated westward and laid the foundations for the first European lineages. But this doesn't mean, as many news outlets proclaimed at the time, that Native Americans are European. These founding populations still start in Central Asia in a time before such distinctions mattered. Your policies that have been very detrimental to the freedoms of the American people, white, black, and everyone all in between, you have violated all of the constitutional rights of the people on a consistent basis and saying it is for the greater good. You were born in America and have lived there for 300 years. You are, not, you are no longer African. Those are Americans. We don't need them. We don't need they them. They were taken them. away, unfortunately, but they are Americans. They are your brothers. They are not our and brothers. Sis we don't need them. No. I totally agree. Andy, who's going to tell us all about the Black Indian? Black Indian is the African people that came from Africa and interbreed with the tribe, what they call the Amerindian tribe. We're not saying that they don't belong anywhere else. We encourage them to find their lineage to where they do belong. Andon plans to expel its freedmen. Sovereignty is fine, but sovereignty does not give you the right to discriminate against the people, and that's essentially what's happening. Efforts to pressure the tribes to reverse their exclusionary policies have been successful in the courts. It's about greed and it's about racism is the core of the entire issue. That's it. 